Welcome to my sandbox C sharp tutorial series. So we're going to get started by uh, setting up Visual Studio and then next episode we'll hopefully uh, set up a game mode, get the basics going. Uh, obviously it's currently sandbox is in beta, uh, dev preview or whatever, so a lot of stuff is going to change. I'll try to update it but I'll, I'll, or I'll like comment when something's changed. So just be aware that things will change and it might not be the same when you're watching this. So uh, we want to go to uh, visualstudio.microsoft.com because we need to install Visual Studio so we can actually edit code. So we want to click here, download Visual Studio Community 2019. Uh, wait for the download. There we go there, then we click it, run, install. I'll, I'll just fast forward this because it'll take a while. So now that it's finished installing the installer, uh, we will have this menu, it, which is where we can actually install Visual Studio Community. So uh, these are the different uh, like development uh, environments you can download, and packages and stuff. Uh, okay, so we want to get .NET for C Sharp, uh, and that is all. Then we click here, install. It will take a while to download because it's six gigabytes. So just wait for that to download. Right, welcome back. So it's finished installing. It will automatically launch it unless you click the bit that said don't start. Uh, I'll need to find that out. So it won't. So you just want to close it here. We don't need that. So now you're, what you want to do is you want to go to Steam, uh, properties on sandbox, local files, then you want to browse. Uh, this is the sandbox directory. This is where we can launch the dev tools, which will also be useful. So you want to run this Visual Studio solution here. If you can't, if you don't have the option to run it, then you do open with uh, Visual Studio 2019. So I can just do a click it. It will ask me anyway. That we want to open with. So now it's launching the sandbox solution. This will basically have all your add-ons here. So it will show uh, all the projects that are in here that have been that you've taught it to. Okay, so look, now we have all our projects. These are some of my stuff. So up here is where we can actually edit code. So we could go look at some of the UI tests, for example, uh, over here. And this is where you can edit stuff. So what we'll do next episode is we'll actually start making our own add-on slash game mode and I'll... Uh, she have to code some stuff.